Alright guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to make this video as quick as possible. I'm just going to talk about the components here, what I believe to be the best micro FPV components that I've used and possibly till this day. Now the current components what I'm using is the drone mesh split sane frame. Now you could use any frame, but however this one has some amazing characteristics. So we'll get into that in a little bit. Now for the components here, then what I'm using is the Emacs 1106 uh, 6000 KV motors. These are just ridiculously crazy uh they're rated for two inch props and i think up to a 3s so what i used is instead of this is a three inch frame i used 2.5 inch props which are racer star i'll leave them linked down below if you're curious and the hdlrc stack the f428 stack to be exact the esc and the flight controller now this thing weighs around 83 grams fully built like this with props on and everything without the battery obviously <clears throat> and i have never ever flown a quad with this much agility, floatiness, floatiness, what I mean is like hang time, basically, I flip upside down, and I'm just in the air for the longest time, the other day, I was confined in my in-laws house, and they had a small backyard, and um, this is what I was able to do, which is theoretically very difficult to do with such a micro, and um, especially when there's a little bit of wind going on, uh, this thing, I... I just can't explain it was you you guys just watch it for yourself look at that that's just insane right there I just flipping and flipping and flipping and flipping flight time around three minutes when I'm two and a half three minutes when I'm going full blast but if I cruise I can get up to five minutes of cruising which is pretty damn good and um it's pretty insane now look now check this out right here this is where I went through the goal post and I just did kind of like a backward you know oh half of a power loop in a way look how far I went that's ridiculously crazy. I can't even do that with one any of my five inch quads, um, which is just it's I don't know. You guys decide for yourself. I'm not going to say anything on that. The agility, the you could I could totally feel that the back motors are getting absolutely clean air. It's it feels efficient. It's hella quiet. It's insanely quiet and smooth, which is what like the first time I ever built it. And I just hovered it in the shop. I never really hover anything here, but I hovered it in the shop and I heard that it was just, you could totally hear it's not fighting the air to stay up, which is a very good sign, which means efficiency, which means the propellers are getting clean air. And um, I was just excited because it looked smooth in the shop. And when I took it out, it did not disappoint. It actually, I wasn't expecting anything to be like, I was hoping it would be close to the SPC uh, quadcopter, that little one. Nothing to beat it, really, because that one was one of the fastest ones I've ever flown and one of the best I've flown, to be honest. But this thing is on a whole new level. It's agility, it's nimbleness, it's it's hang time, it's floatiness, it's everything. Everything is just ridiculously crazy. It's it's just so easy to control. And I treat it like a five inch. And the thing the thing with this is it even surpasses the five inch kind of scenario where I have to pull myself out of something. I just click that throttle. I'm out. I'm completely out. And what's so cool about this, it's super light. I mean, with, with I don't know how much my battery weighs, but it's 83 grams fully built. And it's running the Runcam Micro with that Runcam VTX for it. That's why it's portraying out a little bit here. And um, the, the, the last version will have two holes on the side plate. So if you're not running the same thing as me, you could just bring it back here it will have some camera protection and as you can see here it has these little fangs going on for it I, I decided to do that to add some camera protection and it makes the overall call look it makes it overall looks insanely beasty if you know what I mean it just looks nasty it just looks mean it just looks it just looks like it wants to eat someone so it is 
by far one of the best setups I've ever flown. And I'm not saying that because it's mine. This is what I was saying. I, w I wish I could have this sent to like UAV Futures or Joshua Bardwell to bash it in a little bit. But what I want to send is not just the frame. I want to send this whole setup the way it is because it's ridiculously crazy. I've never flown anything like it. And um, it was just awesome. It was really awesome. And, you know, enough talking. I'm just going to let you guys watch the footage. And I do highly recommend every single component on this build here. 100%. The Emacs 1106, 6000 KV. Racer Star 2.5 inch props. This is a 3 inch frame, by the way. And it only takes 11XX. Um, motors, it is a 2 millimeter uh, frame here. Uh, upper and bottom plate, 2 millimeters. And the side plates. The camera plates are 2 millimeters. And it takes 20 millimeter standoff. So you have 20 millimeters of space in here. And it can be a top or a bottom mount. Uh, battery it depends on what you want i usually stick it on the bottom as you can tell right there and overall i'm just not gonna talk i'll just show you most of the footage that um that i've been collecting because i've been flying it so much i, d I don't grab anything else if i'm going to a park or somewhere where i can't go I just grab this guy it's it's ridiculously crazy i've never ever flown a micro like this and um, the footage will speak for itself. If you've seen something that flew better, I could never do the moves and the things and, and the, the punch outs and the agility uh, this thing has ever with any other quadcopter, which is um, it's just crazy. Because with a five inch, just for example, for the five inch, when I just go like this and I turn back around, the it's it, the heaviness, the inertia keeps pulling it back until it pulls out. No matter how strong the motor is, you can still feel it. However, this is just you know, it's just, it's, it's insane. Um, I still I think. I don't even know how fast this is. I don't have a radar gun, but it's an awesome build. These are amazing components. And um, yeah, and if you would like a frame, there's only like five or four left. You could just email me. I'm not creating any more after this. It's a lot of work and um, it costs more than I initially thought. So I'm actually losing money making them, but I gave a word and I'm, I'm sticking to it. So I have like five or four more left. So if you want some, let me know. And um, yeah. I'll go ahead and uh, set everything up for you. Just the frame, basically, with the standoffs. And uh, overall, I've never flown anything like this in my entire life. And I'm going to leave it at that. And I will see you guys next time. See you guys. Take care.